Hi everybody, this here is a Lasco 12-inch oscillating desk fan, model 2000. Now this one is a fair bit later than the ones that I normally like. Um, I actually picked this one up for a friend of mine who actually, um, he collects versions like these, um, and he, he likes this version, so I think this one's going to be going to him. Um, now I actually used to have one very similar to this one. But I actually gave that one to that very friend. Um, it was similar. It had a. It was basically the same exact design, except it had both a front and rear plastic grill. Um, this one, as you can see, has a rear plastic grill, but a front. The front grill is metal. Um, so that's one difference. And um, this one is, I think, a bit older than that one as well. So this one, with that one, the one with the all plastic grill is from probably like the early 2000s or something. This one is probably from around like the late 90s or so. Um, I'm not too entirely sure about that actually. I don't really know when this one is from and I think they still do make a version of this one today um, that has a metal grill. So I could be totally wrong. Um, I'm just going with the style. Um, and you'll also notice that the logo on the center grill medallion is the sort of 90s one with the wavy K, as I call it, um, with the all uppercase. So this one, uh, it's a lot different in design than their original model, or at least one of, not, not the original one, but the, the first, like, quote, mainstream models, I guess, which were these. Um, and, uh, of course, this one is several generations later than that one, obviously, but you can still see... Um, there are some similarities that they kept um, with the design. First of all, um, they kept basically the same chrome cage design. They just rounded it a bit. Um, they switched the push buttons out for a knob on the base, which they actually uh, used a knob for the 9-inch models as well. So I guess they just took that from the 9-inch models. Um, so yeah, they did away with the push buttons, and then afterwards they switched to the switch being on the back of the motor, which I guess was cost-cutting, because they didn't have to run all the wiring from the base up into the motor. Um, yeah, um, a similarity that it has, if I turn the fan to the side here, is that it has the click-in-place um, neck bracket adjustment. So if I point it up and down, you can see that it may... Whoops, uh-oh. I think I just snapped a piece of it off. Hang on. Yeah. <sighs> I just had it working. Okay, one second. Okay, I think I, that was my very first ever fail capture on camera. This piece of the neck kind of broke off as I tried to snap it down. These things are so temperamental. I'm not even surprised that happened. I was totally expecting it to happen before I filmed it when I was trying to get it to work because it wouldn't adjust up and down so I took it apart I determined that this thing was still like the little mechanism in there was still working um maybe I can like glue that on there with something I don't know we'll see um it's not a huge deal I was able to get it to stay up by tightening that uh the screw on the other side here so hopefully that'll keep it up um and it's not it doesn't seem like it's drifting down but anyway as i was talking about the similarities and differences between this one and the very first generation model of lasco um oscillating desk fan the uh the design is p pretty much the same for the mechanism at least for the motor you got your motor housing with the the oscillator knob on the back there the handle is plastic on this one, and it's attached to the motor housing. Um, the older ones had the handle that was attached, it was metal, and it was attached to the cage on the back of the cage there. So they actually made this switch in sort of the early 90s, I think, in the third generation of version of these that were with the gray blades. Um, I used to have one of those. I'm still out looking for one of those. Um, so yeah. I don't think there's any look on look at the back here. They changed up the uh the venting design a bit on the back of the motor. Um 
the ones that came before this actually had a a different vent design that had it was bent all around the perimeter of the motor housing um this one they kind of have like a horizontal or no vertical type vent thing this one has the horizontal vents so yeah they did change it up um and of course this one has the later oscillator knob that just snaps onto the the pin coming out of the gearbox um the older ones had the knob that screwed on um so yeah and i'm going to show you the label on the bottom this one is interesting because unlike all the other ones which actually don't have the model number listed on the bottom this one actually does have the model number listed right here on the stamp uh this sort of paper tag it says model 2000 and 7099 i have no idea what that means maybe 1999 could be a potential date code i have no idea and then this is the actual tag molded into the base type 12-1 style 2k which style 2k makes sense for 2000 so actually never even noticed that before and then other electrical ratings and the ul listing there and there's nothing else still has all its rubber feet it's odd that one is kind of offset from the rest of them i guess it's from the for the knob there that's weird um okay so let's put the fan back here and i'm gonna give the fan a test now get it off of its cord all right so i'm gonna start the fan up on high whoops oh i didn't mean to have the oscillation on okay let's try that again start the fan up on high with no oscillation I'm very surprised by how good this fan is of a performer because uh, those um, grill, the back grill is really, you saw is spaced really close together, those grill slats. And I noticed that on the other one that I had with the both plastic grills. Um, but these actually do perform very well. So the, they're, they're well designed at least. medium switch is kind of touchy there and low down from low and of course I oiled it lubricated it and everything gave it a nice cleaning I I got this one from the Goodwill I completely forgot to mention I got it from the Goodwill like a couple weeks ago the same day I got that blue galaxy that I filmed last um, this was the it was exact same price too, ten bucks so pretty good deal so now we're gonna start it up on low with the oscillation Okay, medium. The clicking is kind of annoying when it reaches either side, but other than that, it seems to work pretty nice. It's a really slow oscillation arc speed. Finally high. All right, stop 
the oscillation and spin it down from high. Bearings don't seem very stiff, but I feel like it could probably stand to be run for a couple hours just to get the bearings a little bit broken in. Got a pretty short spin down time still. So I'm going to turn the fan around and see if I can get a, start the startup sound on camera. If it has one, of course. So let's see if I can... Uh, it's not much of a... Not much of a startup sound. Not really surprised. The later ones don't really have that much of a motor noise, honestly. Um, so yeah, I think that is about it for this video. So that is the uh, Lasco Model 2000 12-inch oscillating desk fan. So thank you for watching, as always, and more to come.